In the last 90 days, we quadrupled the Shopify sales of three of our full service program clients. And in doing so, our team has gotten a bit of a sneak peek in what success will look like in the upcoming year. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the top three areas that our agency is going to be focusing in on to see if we can do it all over again in 2024. What's going on, everyone? It's Spencer here. If you're new to the channel, I run a growth focused agency by the name of Easy A Media, where we help multiple six and seven figure Shopify brands scale their sales profitably. If you're watching this video on the actual day it's been released, I want to wish you a very happy new year and I hope that you're enjoying your holidays. Because I took a little bit of a vacation early in December, I've been busy the last couple of weeks really reflecting and looking back at some of the strategies that our team has been executing across all of our different clients and trying to find the commonalities in between ones that are the most successful and the ones that are the least successful. So that way our agency knows what to do more of and what things we should be avoiding. Like I mentioned at the start in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top three areas that you should be focusing in on so that hopefully by the end of this video, you have a bit of a better idea on how to plan and how to attack 2024 to make it the best year yet. Now, depending how you see it, these are somewhat predictions based off of the recent success that we've had with our previous clients of things that we need to be doing more of come 2024 as they're probably only going to become more important. Now, the first area that I'm going to be talking about is content. Now, for those of you that have seen some other videos on my channel, you know that I nonstop talk about content and creative strategy and everything to do around creating winning ads for your brand. And I believe in 2024, if you're going to be successful, you are going to need to start to diversify the content that you're actually using on your website, social media, and of course, your paid ads. Now, one thing that I've noticed over the past few months that is definitely going to continue to trend on in 2024 is the fact that UGC is just not converting the way that it used to convert. After analyzing all of our top creatives in 2023, I'm talking about ads that have spent at least $10,000. We've noticed that a lot of it is not UGC. And the reason why we feel like UGC is starting to die off a little bit more is because of the fact that so many brands are now just throwing up UGC everywhere. And I've started to notice that UGC is starting to have the opposite effect of what it's actually intended to do. UGC is meant to build trust. But because UGC is so accessible and so many people have been abusing it and basically making videos about products that they don't even care about, consumers are finding it a lot harder to trust UGC nowadays. UGC, 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 UGC. Stop it. Get some help. Now, don't get me wrong, UGC is not dead. And in fact, we do have some winning ads that are user-generated content, but it's going to come down to your ability to create content that is authentic and finding creators that are actually passionate about your product and your brand. Now, with that rant about UGC over, our agency is going to be making massive strides in the overall studio production and high-quality, elevated style of ads. The reason why we're doing that is that we noticed in 2023, and especially in Q4, that a lot of our highly successful ads were elevated statics, getting really good product photos in their ideal environment with some great headlines on top of them, and studio style videos which show off the quality and the overall appeal of the products that we're selling a lot better than Sally, the UGC creator who is filming it in her bedroom. We love you, Sally. So to wrap up this first point, when I talk about content diversification, what I'm talking about is not solely relying on just UGC or just studio style content. In 2024, you're going to need to combine it all together and most importantly, make sure the content content that you create is authentic to your brand. So if you currently don't have a content flywheel, you obviously need to get one. But if you do have a content flywheel and you have a steady stream of UGC coming in, I'd highly encourage you to start investing into some more elevated studio shop content and having a creative refresh at least every quarter or if possible, every single month. Now, the second area that we're going to be focusing in on is ad effectiveness over ad volume. One of the biggest learnings that we had this year is the fact that it's not all about the amount of creatives that you test. It's about the quality of creatives that you've test. Our most successful brands and some of these brands that you saw that were up over 300% were relying on one to two ads to drive a lot of that growth. You focus on ad effectiveness over just spam testing a bunch of different ads, meaning that you go deeper on every single concept. You spend more time analyzing data and closing feedback loops, which if you didn't watch last week's video, make sure you go check it out. Most importantly, taking the time to better understand your customers so that way you know what to put in front of them. The brands that really focus in on ad effectiveness and better understanding what type of content their potential customers are consuming and creating that content for them, what type of messaging is resonating with them and creating ads that call that out, and tying that all together with strong branding and real authenticity, those types of ads are going to be far 
more rewarded compared to the template that you copied from some auto DM giveaway on Twitter. Don't worry, copy other people's ads. Just focus on creating ads that are authentic to you. And the third and final area that you're going to want to focus on in 2024 and beyond is going to be average order value optimization. I've said it a few times before, and I actually have a video on my channel talking about this. Having a strong average order value is going to be more important than it's ever been. And the reason why that is, is because with ad costs rising and competition becomes more fierce, the cost to acquire a customer is only going to continue to go up for a lot of brands. So you need to work on optimizing your average order value. So that way, every single new customer that you acquire is worth a little bit more. At our agency, we focus on profitable front end growth, which means that every time we acquire a customer, we need to be making a profit. And our brands that are the most successful have strong average order values. At our agency, the minimum average order value that we're looking at is $75. And in an ideal world, we have customers spending 150 to 250 plus on average. Our most successful brands right now are currently hovering anywhere between 150 to 400 dollars in total average order value. So how can you actually go about increasing your average order value? Number one, start bundling your products. Whether that means selling more of your main product, piecing complementary products together, I highly recommend to start bundling some products on your store. Number two, make sure that you're optimizing your store to make upsells more accessible. If you're not using a slider card or you don't have some kind of mechanism that allows people to one click and add more items to their cart, I'd highly recommend investing into some CRO to get that done. Number three, start providing offers and incentives for people to actually spend more. Provide discounts for people that buy more than one of your products. Or if you don't offer free shipping, I would definitely encourage you to have some kind of threshold for people to obtain it. And then finally, for the absolute best way to increase average order value, continue to develop products. If you aren't developing any new products or you're not working on making your existing products better, you need to start doing that. As an agency owner, sometimes it can be a little bit invasive for me to tell my clients that, hey, they need to start working on better products, making better versions, or introducing complementary products that people can add. You have to remember that at the end of the day, your product is the single most important thing on your entire website. If you have a great product and you continue to make it better and then justify a price increase for this newly optimized version, that's a fantastic way to increase your average order value. So just to do one final recap, area number one to focus on is going to be your content diversification. Make sure you're not solely relying on UGC. I would highly recommend to start investing in some elevated studio quality content. Second area to focus in on is going to be ad effectiveness over ad volume. If you're just spamming creative tests into your ad account and hoping for the best, I definitely encourage encourage you to slow down, focus in on the strategy and the messaging with each and every single ad that you make. And then most importantly, make sure that you learn from them so that you can continue to make effective ads moving forward. And then finally, make sure that you're optimizing your average order value because in order for you to scale profitably with customer acquisition costs increasing, you're going to need to increase the amount that people spend on your store. If you enjoyed this video, I just ask that you click the share button down below and send this to someone else who you also think could get value. And as always, if you're a multiple six or seven figure Shopify brand looking for the help of a growth focus this agency. I highly encourage you to grab a time with me down below so that our team can put together a custom action plan for you and make 2024 the best year. Yeah. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you next week.